Okay, I don't want to cry. <laughs> yeah, so there was a Buddha guy who was my friend. Um, Summer nights, the days were long. You and me. What's up, guys? It's Evan here, and happy International Women's Day. I am celebrating. I got Ash some beautiful flowers. These are called mimosas. And here in the Italian speaking region of Switzerland, it's a tradition to buy mimosas for women on Women's Day. So I got those for Ash. And guys, as you may have noticed, I got a haircut. It's not my best haircut. It's pretty good though, right? Yeah, you like it? Anyway, surprising Ash with this too. She doesn't know. And I got her some ice cream. So I'm going to go bring that to her now, see her reaction. And guys, I hope you are having, have had a wonderful Women's Day. And yeah. Happy Women's Day. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that. Here are mimosas. Beautiful. And here's some ice cream. Oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah, you must have yellow flowers. Oh, you cut your hair. Oh, my legs. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> you look cute, better. Really? Yeah. You like the haircut? Yeah. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but oh, you like it. Guys, look at these flowers. They actually smell nice. Really? I didn't. I haven't smelled them myself. Wow. Happy Women's Day to me. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and I love your hair. Thank you. Wow. We both got new hairdos. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that you didn't tell me you were getting a cut. I didn't even know until I s walked outside and walked in front of a uh, salon. Oh. Then I just decided in the moment. Wow. These flowers are cute. I swear it's my first day. Thanks, <laughs> Ben. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Guys, happy Women's Day to you. Yes. And now we're going to celebrate. So it's Women's Day. Yeah, guys, and it's the very first Women's Day. I'm getting flowers. So. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad I'm the first to give it to you. Yeah, you're the first to I give mean, me flowers. Already know. It yeah. In everything, so. Anyway, guys, so today is the day when we celebrate women. Of course, you guys know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. So for me today, I'm celebrating myself, but also women out there who have failed and, and like women who fail, stand up, fail again, stand up and try and try until they make it and some of them have not yet made it where they want to, but they still are not afraid to stand up and do it again, you know, and I think guys, I'm one of them, to be honest, I've really failed many times until, you know, the right time is God's time, but then we never know when God's time is reaching, but we always keep trying, because um, guys, I remember there is a time when I really wanted to go to the university in 2015, but I had no money to start with, I had no one like to help me at that point it was just me and the world and i was in kampala i had no one to cry to except my mom but she had no money so i was working at a supermarket uh, in chiburi guys it was super super oil by that time it's now shell when you're going when you're coming from Kabbalah Garden, then you go this way, the show that you see right there. It's where I was working. And guys, do you know what happened to get employed? Oh, yeah. I oh, went. Sorry. <laughs> so this is how it went. I think the story of how I came in Kampala, I should just jump that. 
but this is what happened. I'm in Kampala, I don't know anyone. Yeah, but a certain woman helps me and gives me where to sleep. And then I am looking for jobs in the city where I know no one. Okay, I knew some relatives, but at this time they were useless. So <laughs> I was just in a city somewhere where um, I know no one. So guys, sorry if useless is something you wouldn't say, but I just said it. So I'm looking for a job. I've moved in all industrial areas. I've moved everywhere. I'm not finding a job. So my heart is like, you're just near this supermarket. Why can't you go find, ask for a job? So I, I asked them for a job, but they didn't say there is no job available for you. You know how they say we shall call you. And the person in me is like, you've really suffered looking for a job, but they're not giving you a job. You know what I did in the morning? The morning after I went inside the supermarket, there was a, a different manager for the supermarket. And I'm like, the manager gave me a job. The manager hadn't given me a job. And so the manager in the supermarket told me, go and buy a uniform and come back to work tomorrow. So basically, you buy yourself a uniform. <clears throat> I had no money for a uniform. And so there is a border guy who was my friend. Okay, I don't want to cry. <laughs> yeah, so there was a border guy who was my friend. And he took me to Chikuo where they make uniform. And so he knew the exact material they wanted because he had worked near that supermarket for a long time. So I got a uniform. I got to work the next day. And the manager who didn't give me a job enters the supermarket and finds me there and he says, you girl who gave you a job? And I'm like, you gave me the job. And he's like, I didn't give you a job. But you know, I think God had said that's how you're going to get a job. I had a uniform already, so he did not fire me. He was like, okay, just to work. Because it was, you know, I think he just acted like a parent. And that's how I got a job. So clearly I'm telling you, you shouldn't like give up. Just keep going. Just, you know. So guys, Prepare I'm, like you've already <laughs> had your prayers answered. You've already gotten a job. Yeah. She, she literally acted that way. Wore the uniform as if she was working and she got the job. Yeah. And also, guys, I did this because I had really had tried finding jobs like everywhere. But I had failed. And I'm um, this Munyankore girl in Kampala who doesn't know Uganda trying to find a job. You know, it was really, really hard. And so that's how I started working and saved up some money. And fortunately, I was able to go to campus to invest at KIU by that money. I, I got a half scholarship at KIU and that's how I started. So you can imagine, I'm just telling you this story so that you know that um, there is no giving up. If a man cannot give up, a woman can't also. Women, we can also go for what we want. You know, don't give up. You just accept failing is part of the process. You will fail, um, go back, fail, go back until you make it. So I'm celebrating all of you who are outside there suffering, looking for a way, looking for, for a way to make um, ends meet, but you're not finding it. I'm telling you, we've been through the worst. I've not yet told you guys my story life, especially from 2015 up to where I am right now. I've not yet shared all that with you. But as a person who has been there, a person who has suffered, a person who has been like um, a real testimony, God's testimony, how should I say it? Something like that. My point here is, guys, don't give up. Don't let anyone tell you you cannot make it. Guys, relatives will say that. Your close friends will say that. They won't believe in you. But just believe in yourself. Be like, I am a woman. I can make this happen. That's how the world changes. Because, I mean, I also didn't believe in myself at a certain point. But I had something pushing me. Ashame, you can prove them wrong. At that point, I wasn't working for God, to be honest. 
but God kept, you know, also making me like he kept those miracles coming because at sometimes I used I never knew I could even study and finish, you know, someone who is just pushing herself with no help, with no what. But things kept coming and things keep coming. Um because you're not giving up. Sometimes when you give up, things also give up on you. But if you keep going, that's how you know. So guys, today's Women's Day. You women outside there trying to say I'm giving up. Do not give up. Just wake up and go for it. My English is on and off in this video. But as long as you understand the story, that's what matters. And English is not my mother language. So... I tried to let you know what, you know why I'm celebrating women outside there. That's my reason. Happy Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. Day. Beautiful message. Yeah, guys, we hope you have a wonderful day. We hope you're inspired. And yeah, every day, every day is Women's Day. So um, yeah, we hope every day is a day where you feel valued and accepted and appreciated and celebrated yeah and so guys also today is the day you can um, help another woman you know many women are passing through a lot sometimes you might not help them to give them financially because not everyone is financially well but even if you can pray for them give them something to eat even if you find them on street just help and also for you guys who can help the donation link is still on you know, those girls you are helping are also women. They are future women, future mothers. So you donating is being, uh, like, if you donate, you're helping them throughout the journey of being a woman because menstrual periods is like a step to being a woman. Mm -hmm. So guys, please donate if you can. Hey yeah, guys, as you may know, and if you do not know already, we're doing a project, PADS project. Part two, we just went to Uganda last month and we did a project for girls where we distributed pads to school girls in Western Uganda mainly. And so now we're looking at the next step of trying to make this project sustainable. So we're raising money for the, the next step, which is to train girls on how to make reusable pads and, um, and, and get more reusable pads to distribute. So, if you'd like to make a donation in honor of International Women's Day, the link is in the description. And uh, it's a GoFundMe link, so you can send your donation there. Otherwise, we have a Cash App, which you can send a donation to. Uh, that's also in the description. Just make sure to write a little message about what uh, the donation is for on Cash App. And yeah, guys, we really appreciate all the donations that you've given so far. You guys have been tremendously uh, generous and we're just so excited um, that you guys are jumping into this project this dream with us and um, looking forward to the future of what this could be and also guys let's try to be so um, positive on here on YouTube because some comments can be like so negative and you feel like oh my god so guys I came I know Evan wouldn't want me to to say this, but I came to Europe to study, not to slay, not to look like a queen, guys. <laughs> so if you see like my hair is too old, like don't tell me that because I also want to have new hair, but I can't afford it. So it hurts. Be positive. Thanks for watching. Happy Women's Day. <laughs> Till next time. Peace, guys. <laughs> <laughs>